This short video is to accompany a recent blog post I made which describe the two primary problems that are associated with executive meetings and the two that is the two obstacles that get in our way of making these meetings everything that they could be and need to be on behalf of the organizations in which they're embedded so I spoke about two the first one is the structural issues and the second are the social issues I'm going to briefly describe them to you now and I'm going to let you know that subsequent to this video and to this associated blog we'll be giving some more information about how to address these things more detailed how to's but in the first instance it's so important to know that the primary challenges with meetings really come from two different sources it's kind of reassuring in fact that it's not 14 it's really only two you see one of them is the structural issues and here is the interesting thing it's not enough to have topics written for your agenda for instance imagine an executive team meeting and the topic is um, remuneration for middle management and so suddenly when whoever might be responsible for that meeting if anyone is in fact playing that role uh, the topic emerges and then the discussion begins but in most cases that's where the structuring finishes is the topic for the agenda item. It's actually not in the subsequent questions that will structure that conversation. So you can imagine when that topic is raised, the participants of the meeting simply start speaking. And what are they going to be answering? Well, they're going to be answering the questions they hear in their own head. Now, what questions do they hear in their own head? That will vary. You see, different executives will ask different questions. One executive may well ask, what options do we have to address this? Another executive may well ask, what should be done now? Another might be asking, what evidence do we have that there is actually a problem in this area? And so they're just three of a number of examples, but you can imagine when the topic is raised, executives simply start speaking in response to the questions they hear inside their own head. Now, as a result of that, the conversation kind of runs in parallel. People are speaking, all saying intelligent things often, but in parallel with each other, not really working and converging together on a shared question. So that's where the structural issues emerge. They emerge inside the agenda item because there is insufficient clarity around the questions that the group needs to consider. And I want to let you know this, what's very helpful is if executives know that for each agenda item, what is the critical question they need to answer? What is the final question they need to get to? And so the final question you can imagine is at the bottom of uh, actually usually two or you know usually two questions that must precede it for the group to arrive together at answering that final question. And in subsequent blogs and videos, I'll let you know a little bit more about how to structure those questions so that an executive team can be re very reassured that they're asking the right questions to proceed and to best prepare them to answer their ultimate question. Now the challenge of course is most executive teams don't know this so they end up speaking at loggerheads in effect with each other, frustrated they're not making progress, wondering why they're not and then of course someone blowing the whistle on the conversation and taking it offline or taking it to some other committee simply because we haven't got far enough uh, on this conversation. Now almost finished but the second problem is not structural although often these two problems can be happening at the same time. The second challenge is social issues. Now what do I mean by that? These are subtle, more complex challenges in fact within an executive team where the to some topics are associated with a vague sense of unease or threat or potential embarrassment and as a result the group navigates itself around that topic. It actually goes around the topic. The interesting thing about how executive teams do this is they navigate around the topic but do not discuss that they are navigating around it. So in the absence of acknowledging that we are working around an issue, not discussing a particular topic that might be somehow problematic for the group to talk about, the bottom line for that is that the actual issue that does represent that vague threat or potential embarrassment 
remains locked out of the discussion for that executive team, simply locked out of them. Now, unfortunately for executive teams, the conversations or the topics that are associated with having more threat are usually highly strategic. They're not side issues. They're usually central issues and they're important issues. Often their importance is what makes it threatening to talk about. So social issues work to prevent executive teams from addressing the concerns they have about real issues at hand. Because there is a vague sense of threat, maybe someone in the room will lose face, maybe it's a problem because the CEO or MD has underperformed in some area and the rest of the team has, may have trouble raising that with the CEO or the MD. You see there can be a number of reasons why a group may not raise the topic. And that will be a topic of a subsequent blog and to explain a little more about how that happens and what you can do about it. But in the first instance, I wanted to let you know that there are structural and there are social. Unlocking these two challenges just expands the possibilities for what executive teams can do in their meetings and ultimately allowing them to become a high performing executive team. I hope you've enjoyed this video and the blog. I'm really looking forward to providing you more value. Please send me comments or any questions you have or other things you'd like to hear about. Thanks so much. See you soon.